All cow-calf producers are interested in doing what they can to keep uh, costs down in order to improve their bottom line. And one of the chief areas that uh, everybody works at in efforts to try to reduce expenses is in that winter feed bill. One of the ways that we here in Oklahoma can do that is by stockpiling Bermuda grass and allowing the cow to be the harvesting agent of that Bermuda grass in late fall and early winter time. What the concept of stockpiling Bermuda grass consists of, first of all, is making sure before the end of August we get the uh, Bermuda grass field mowed, hayed, or grazed down pretty close. Then apply about 50 pounds of actual N per acre. Stay off of that particular uh, field of Bermuda grass until uh, around the 1st of November. With some fall rains, we should expect on the low end about a thousand pounds of dry matter being produced per acre. On a good year, a full ton of dry matter Bermuda grass being available then when we start to, to graze that. As we turn the cows back into that Bermuda grass in November, We'd suggest that you consider strip grazing, somehow control the grazing so that they don't waste a lot of that forage. You'll get better utilization uh, out of the expenses and the effort that you put into this concept of, of stockpiling Bermuda grass. You may want to go ahead and do some supplementation with these cows starting around the first part of December. Something in the neighborhood of a couple of pounds per head per day of a 14 to 25 percent crude protein supplement. Now, I would encourage you to go to the SUNUP website. That's sunup.okstate.edu. Look under show links. And uh, there's a link to the 2001 research reports where you can look and learn more about how these cows were handled and some of the results that they had with the different levels of supplementation of the stockpiled Bermuda grass. One of the amazing things about this concept is how well this Bermuda grass, even after frost, would hold its protein content. In uh, November, it was still running something like, uh, oh gosh, 13, 14% crude protein. It dropped down a, a full 1 to 2 percent in December, but in January, still holding up there in the neighborhood of about 10 to 11 percent crude protein. So this is the time that you'd want to be utilizing that forage. If you have wheat pasture coming on or fescue in the eastern part of the state, go ahead and use the stockpiled Bermuda grass first and then the cool season grasses later in the winter time. One more additional thought uh, as we are having those cows out on this frozen Bermuda grass is to make sure that there's a mineral package available. Something that's a 6 to 9 percent uh, phosphorus mineral that's, that has some vitamin A added to it. That'll help uh, meet some of those additional needs that these cows were not getting out of that uh, stockpiled Bermuda grass. I think if you'll really learn and consider this concept of use, utilizing stockpiled Bermuda grass as a way of helping meet your winter nutrition requirements during the first part of the winter, we can cut those winter feed costs rather dramatically. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner.